If you're like me, you were just trying to enjoy board games with your family, have a good time, watch some stuff on the internet to try to figure out how to play games, and you might have stumbled across people like Rodney Smith from Watch It Played or The Dice Tower and been like, this seems like good wholesome content. These are people who just want to talk about games and hang out uh, and do things like my family wants to do. And unfortunately, once you dig into these people and you find out what goes on, you find out that these are bullies who hate families, hate America, uh, hate you, and want to push their weird extreme leftist political agendas upon everybody, and they're going to use their clout to do so. It's sad. We'll get into that in a second. My name is John Delarose. I am a number one best-selling author and award-winning comic creator, and this is my book, Overmind. It is a science fiction graphic novel on Kickstarter right now. Now, Rodney tried to cancel me uh, about three weeks ago, and uh, he tried to get me... I, I'm starting my own game at some point, which Overmind will probably be a part of. And Rodney wanted uh, to just hate me out of the industry. Uh, he did it because I'm Hispanic, because I'm outspoken, uh, because I'm a Christian, and because uh, I won't, I won't uh, silence myself. I will not censor myself uh, for the woke establishment. Now, Rodney thinks he can use uh, his platform as a bludgeon uh, to try to instill fear into the industry, uh, to try to instill hatred into the industry, and uh, to make it so that people like me can get hated off of Kickstarter. But it's not going to happen. People like you understand that uh, it's imperative to have wonderful culture like this that is just fun, that the whole family can enjoy, and doesn't have any woke content. You can see that. $15,000 in 12 days. Sorry, Rodney. We're not going anywhere. We're going to keep winning. So you can back this in the description below. This link's down there. And thank you very much for everybody who did so. You're the best community out there. And we love everyone, all of our customers, all of our friends, and all of our viewers. We appreciate you so much. All right. Watch it played. So this is a channel, 280,000 subscribers. Rodney's got a very big following. And so when he says something in the industry, it actually uh, makes people cower in fear. I had Gamma, the Game Manufacturers Association, ban me because Rodney went off on a creepy tangent about me. I, I don't know the guy, and yet he's just ranting about me on the internet, uh, on Twitter, in, in their Facebook group. And now he's actually violating their terms of service. He's a member of Gamma, and Gamma claims it's protecting its members. They have terms of service that says that you can't go out there and try to destroy its members, and yet he's trying to destroy a retail chain, TGG Games, because he doesn't like uh, the owner's politics. And that's against their terms of service. If Gamma actually followed their rules, they would ban Rodney and make a statement against what he's doing, but they don't follow their rules. They're scared of people like Rodney because Rodney yields influence. You can see he's got uh, big name companies who actually come to him for these videos. And uh, his influence is now being used just to instill hatred against half the country uh, in the whole board game community uh, to try to just hate out normal people. And this is what they do in every industry. They did it in Hollywood. They're doing it in comics. They're doing it in science fiction. And now board games. Uh, you'd think board games would be immune to this sort of thing, but it's really not. People like Rodney are insidious, and they need to be stopped from this, and this is why we do what we do. All right, the story of the day here is <clears throat> Rodney is using his Twitter platform to try to attack TGG Games. And as you can see, uh, they have a Kickstarter right now, which I'll also put in the link in the description below. It's called uh, Santa's Little Elves. It's a board game. It's a fun board game for families. Anyone can enjoy it. Uh, it's, it's done by Bruno Faduti, who's like a longtime board game designer. And... Santa's Little Elves is just is great stuff. My eight-year-old loves it. Um, and if this if Rodney was about board games, if he was about trying to help people play board games, he'd just be playing the board game, telling people about it, just like anyone else. But Rodney's about politics, and that's all it's about. And so he's retweeting and pushing this cancellation of the Santa's Little Elves board games, trying to get people not to back this. This is like a tortious interference situation where he's using his clout He's using his Gamma membership in order to make sure that a, a board game designer does not actually get their board game sold. How crazy is that? This is like the opposite of what he's supposed to be doing. This is the opposite of the content that he's supposed to be providing for people. But here you go. A lot of great crowdfunding projects out today. One I would definitely recommend avoiding. Even the designer has denounced the publisher. 
So it's all about denouncing people. It's all about hating people. It's all about trying to destroy their lives and their livelihoods. TGG Games hires uh, hundreds of people. They've got tons of people in their networks, minorities. Rodney wants all those people to lose their jobs because he doesn't like the owner's politics. He wants all these people to be destitute because they should know better than to work for somebody who voted the wrong way. This is the type of person that Rodney is. This is the type of person that you support by watching his content. It's really sick that this has happened in the industry. People like Rodney, people like Tom Vassell from the Dice Tower, they use their clout for this to hurt board games, to hurt board game companies, to hurt people designing and, and producing games, to hurt people selling games, to hurt families that play games because they want a virtue signal to extreme leftist weirdos who just want to make everything about politics all the time. It's really sad to watch this stuff. And you know what? We're trying to make a change around here. Look, I don't want Rodney to not have to be able to exist or play in the board game industry. I'm not like him. But I want him to leave people like me alone. I want him to leave people like the beautiful TGG Games Company alone. Uh, it's really sad. And they've got this whole thread about trying to hate this company. Here it is. And, uh, you know, of course, they're taking things out of context, lying. Uh, Eddie Marmel is a, is a Hispanic man who's, a, who, who's just a hard worker at a, at, a, at a company, knowingly exposed others to COVID. Yeah, right. I mean, this is just nonsense stuff, just trying to just get people to hate these people and trying to get this Kickstarter canceled. So let's look this up. Santa's Little Elves. We can pull this up on Kickstarter right now. And I should have done it beforehand, but I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm not a professional YouTuber. You know how it goes. I'm not like Rodney. <laughs> but here's the game. It's got two two days to left uh, left to go uh, as of the recording of this video. Um, Three thousand dollars. I've played it. I can recommend it. I think it's a good game. Uh, buy this. Support people who don't hate you. Support people who want to make good games and good content and don't want to just play the woke uh, online cancellation mob game. This is this is the good stuff, and I hope you'll check it out. All right. Leave a comment down below with what you think. Hit that like and subscribe button, and we'll be back soon.